God's advice today, God is sending many signs, but it seems like you are ignoring all of them. So, please, do not ignore this video because it is a message from God's heart to bless your life today. Before we continue, please leave your like so that more people can be reached by this message. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive more videos like this. Don't ignore this video and stay until the end. I invite you to click on the first comment where you will find a special prayer and the second best manifestation offer in the world. God said, My dear child, Today, my heart overflows with love for you, my precious child. I want you to know that you are loved unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances you face or the choices you make. With each dawn, I observe your steps, and with eyes full of mercy, I see the potential that resides in you. I know life can be challenging, filled with ups and downs, but in this moment, I want you to feel my loving presence around you. The Word of God reminds us in Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This verse is a reminder that you can entrust all your concerns to me in prayer, knowing that my peace, which surpasses human understanding, will guard your heart. Sometimes, I perceive your distress, the tears you shed, and the burdens you carry. I want you to know that I am with you in every moment, not just as a distant observer but as a loving father who longs for your happiness and well-being. In moments of loneliness, know that you are never truly alone, for I am with you, enveloping you with my arms of love. I look at you and see the potential that you often cannot see in yourself. I recall Psalm 139 verse 13 to 14, which says, For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. You are a masterpiece of my creation, unique and wonderful. Allow this truth to sink deep into your heart. Sometimes, the trials of life may obscure your vision of my constant presence. However, remember that I am with you in joys and sorrows, victories, and defeats. In Romans 8 verse 28, it is written, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Even when you don't fully understand the events around you, trust that I am working all things for your good, according to my sovereign plan. I want to talk about the importance of faith and trust in me, even when paths seem unclear. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the anchor of your soul, guiding you even when you cannot see clearly the path ahead. Allow faith to flourish in your heart, trusting that amidst life's uncertainties, my sovereign hand will guide each of your steps. Also, remember that you are endowed with free will, a gift that allows you to make choices and decisions. In Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, it is written, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. By trusting in me, I will guide you in paths of righteousness and wisdom. I invite you to surrender your choices into my hands, trusting that, with the guidance of my spirit, your steps will be secure. In times of discouragement, when darkness threatens to envelop your heart, remember the words of Psalm 23 verse 1 to 4, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In these verses, you will find comfort and security, knowing that I am your shepherd, caring for you with love and protection. 
Dear child, do not forget that you are a unique expression of my love. In Ephesians 2 verse 10, it is written, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. You have a purpose and a specific plan that will unfold as you trust in me. Allow my transformative grace to work in your life, empowering you to perform the good works I prepared for you from the foundation of the world. In moments when sadness overwhelms your heart, remember the words of John 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Amidst tribulations, find your peace in me, for I have overcome the world. With me by your side, you are not destined for defeat but for victory in Christ. I want to encourage you to cultivate gratitude in your heart. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, it is written, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Gratitude is an attitude that transforms the heart and brings light even in the most challenging circumstances. By giving thanks for daily blessings and acknowledging my faithfulness, you will experience a remarkable change in your perspective. When you feel lost or confused, remember Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, which we have already mentioned, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Trust in me is the key to a fulfilling and meaningful life journey. Let my wisdom guide your steps, trusting that my plan for you is perfect and full of hope. You hold a cherished place in my heart as my beloved child, and I want you to understand that no challenge, failure, or circumstance has the power to sever the unbreakable bond of my love for you. In my role as a compassionate and nurturing father, I am constantly present to offer guidance, protection, and an unwavering, unconditional love that knows no bounds. I implore you to place your trust wholeheartedly in me, dear child, recognizing that you are an integral part of my divine, intricately designed plan, and rest assured that the most extraordinary moments are yet to unfold. With love, God. Hope this message has been an inspiration to you. If you liked it, please write Amen and share this message with someone who also needs to hear it. I invite you to click on the first comment where you will find a special prayer, the second best manifestation offer in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content like this. Until tomorrow.